We hope that this introduction has provided you with some new insights on how to prevent bullying in your workplace. In the next slide, you'll find a free analysis tool which will help you diagnose risk factors and set a plan to take action. This short overview of bullying in the workplace was intended to provoke thought on the topic and perhaps even highlight areas that need attention in your workplace that have been potentially overlooked in the past. There are a number of steps to ensure that you have the right policies and procedures in place to address or prevent workplace bullying. It is equally important to ensure that the right training is implemented to support these policies and procedures. If your managers and staff have a strong understanding of their responsibilities when being confronted with bullying, you're giving your organisation the best chance of success. We've worked with a number of organisations on the issues of workplace bullying. We found that supervisors and managers were surprised by the seriousness of bullying and were, were unaware of how important their role is in prevention. We also found that in these cases, other areas of training were required to ensure they had the appropriate skills to address bullying issues when they arise. These included leadership management training, emotional intelligence training, and improving skills in conflict management. Unfortunately, training in these areas is often left when a bullying incident has occurred. It's always surprised us as how often proactive action is taken for granted. If you've identified areas in your business and need assistance with designing a workplace bullying training program to meet your needs, contact me for a discussion. We'll sit down and understand what you are trying to achieve and contextualize a program that will help you execute your action plan effectively.